Hello everyone, welcome to Rave the Planet's Instant Rave number 30 with our exciting host today, Rural Records. And as you can see, there are two guys waiting on my left side. It's Kevin and Lloyd from Keen. Welcome! Hi, hi. Guys, how are you? Good, and you? Oh, I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> the current situation and so on. Exciting. How do you experience the current situation? How is it for you? Well, we were lucky to come back on time. We were mm -hmm. in Asia and we got here at the beginning of March. Mm -hmm. um, and from that perspective, we think uh, it has been really good. Mm -hmm. Especially because in Panama it was really hard. They were uh, on lockdown until a few weeks ago, since March. Only allowed to go out uh, two times per week for one hour. So mm -hmm. not no, no sports, no anything. A lot of people have been suffering there so given that per perspective for us here have been really good trying to learn german now in german school both okay um, you can say something in german already Gesicht <laughs> behal. <laughs> it's one of the most important things you need to learn that was my first word really and, yeah really <laughs> and, okay and then Switch. yeah <laughs> And then, um, yeah, we've been making a lot of music, mm -hmm. uh, took the time to work on the label, restructuration, listen to a lot of demos. It's been really mm -hmm. productive time. Productive. So, productive, yeah, okay. Yeah, trying to make the best out of it. But, yeah, of course. But yeah, same, same, same as you, like, okay, six weeks. Yeah. Corona, okay. Okay, but you were healthy so far? Yeah, so yeah. Far. So far, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Guys, um, one question. Of course, it's your family name, Keen, but um, why the dots? Is there an additional meaning hidden in that? So in, in the beginning, um, I started Keen as a solo project mm -hmm. with my former bandmates. I had a band before and they, since it was my music, etc., one of them told me like, yeah, it would be cool. I, I would say you should name it uh, for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you need a bass guitar player, you hire it or so, or another element. And we thought that the dots would be cool because I don't know, then it wouldn't be my name specifically. Mm -hmm. And then um, by the time I came back to Panama, I was studying in Argentina. Um, we talked about music and we decided to take the project into a different direction mm -hmm. and what it is today basically and the name suited both of us of yeah. course because of the, of the last name. Yeah. F funny thing is like now we are we're pretty much about to take the dots out. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah we feel it's a bit complicated to find find us online and it's always a struggle like sometimes people like because it, it has a dot at the end so many times they they don't put it and so it's always something about it so yeah we, we would like to just mm -hmm. yeah, so okay well but it's a little catchy to see that and you're trying to find out what's the secret behind so before we start um, to talk about how you found your way from Panama to here and how you started your music career I would love to invite you to order something for um, at the room service so if you please call the nine and order whatever you like to drink let's do it hello we wanted to order um some room service. Uh, we wanted to order three beers, please. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> All right. So, um, your history is that you're both born in uh, Panama. Where exactly? Panama City. Panama City. Okay, yeah. pretty interesting. And of course, as your brothers, you grew up together. How did you start to do music together? Have you always been in a mm. band or something? Or? Not really. I, I started alone uh, with my uh, school friends, basically, and other friends to play uh, rock mostly. I also was part of a jazz project with other colleagues from school. And um, that was my, my background, more or less, until I realized it was very complicated to get everyone to practice and everyone to agree and stuff. So I decided to start practicing with computers, mm -hmm. uh, making beats or, or any, anything. And then a friend said like, hey, that sounds like this or that sounds like that. And I started to discover all these mm -hmm. records. I had no idea. 
um, I wouldn't even call it electronic music but that back then and that's how I personally started and and Kevin um, we are five years apart mm -hmm. already so uh, yeah for me I didn't I wasn't in the band or anything but I would say that I was um, started going out at a young age <laughs> Actually, using his ID. Yeah. Mm, um, okay. <laughs> I was not really going out much. Yeah, as siblings do. <laughs> Would you say it's important that a DJ or a composer should play an instrument? Not really. No, I would say it's up to you. If uh, I would say it's not really a necessity nowadays. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it definitely improves your yeah. possibilities. Like uh, you have a wider universe to do more things like it's very limited when you're not able to play properly an instrument but it's not definitely like something um, indispensable to to create yeah music. i think it really depends on the people because there are some musicians who are I, from my perspective trap in the instrument like mm -hmm. all they can think about is recording guitars and write songs in that context and when you don't have that then you're freer to explore different different gear or techniques or collaborate with other artists so I would say it's 50-50 depends really on the, on the case and the person from my perspective mm -hmm. and you both also combine your um, producer skills so one is better at this one is better at that how is the process when you do music together right now so I am personally more into songwriting and, and ideas and recording parts and, and this a little bit, big bit of geekery around the sound design and, and collecting stuff, and um, he's more in the, on the technical side of things. Mm -hmm. Actually, he he, he studied uh, and he prepared himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how how we work. Basically, music, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you started this in 2010 in Panama and then you decided 2015 to move to Berlin. What was the point when you thought, okay, we have to go there because of... So in, in, in 2010 we started playing, but we also started making events. Mm -hmm. And it started with a kind of like a small party in a huge venue, but a small party that became... Um, a club basically um, I would say capacity of 700 uh, 700 people more or mm -hmm. less that's Panama huge yeah that's, that's, really that's, that's huge for Panama yeah, yeah it's really huge for Panama and that's actually how we make uh, met Christian from mm -hmm. Rural the first time I would say 2012 or something like that and the place became really uh, popular so we started to, to book DJs mm -hmm. um, from Berlin from other parts but Many from Berlin, and that's how our relationship for the project started. Actually, mainly the first ones were from yeah, yeah. Berlin. Oh, Berlin it's knocking. Hello. 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 Ah, Hi. the room service. Yeah. Sina, ich nehme dir hier ab. Du machst. Ich drehe um. Oh, geil. You also have an opener. Yeah. Of course. Service. <laughs> so we have one beer. Sweet. Thank you. One for you. And one for the lady. Thank you so much. And as I get so fast drunk, I give it to our camera bye operator. Bye. <laughs> so there it is. Danke, Sinan. Thank you. Ta ta. <laughs> Magic door! <laughs> so, cheers guys! <laughs> Hello. Cheers. So, um, can you tell us something about the electronic music scene in Panama in general? Well, now, now, it? now it's really a bad mm -hmm. time, like most of the places. Um, but it's a very interesting scene. It's a very small city, like a million and a half people. Mm. And for the size, it's, it's impressive. Like um, especially in the, in the last ten years, there have uh, a lot of new talent that have mm. emerged, new labels, new venues. Um, it's very and then also you have all this um, Panama. It's kind of like a port city with a lot of transit. So a lot of international DJs are also coming. Um, this enriches 
we have also a very nice combination of uh, expat talent that brings uh, to the to the city a lot of flavor and interesting mm -hmm. things i would say yeah but back to my last question and then you decided to uh, move to berlin even though panama is pretty exciting in the electronic music yeah. scene so what was the point when you decided this so when we started we really wanted to make music that was our main thing and um, after this first venue we opened a second one and when the second one uh, project uh, we moved out of it uh, we decided that it was good time to come and stay in berlin because we came a, a few summers mm -hmm. to grasp the, the spirit to do some networking part of very interesting projects also cultural projects so we already knew that this was the place that we it had to be the next step if you really wanted to consider music as a serious thing and that's how we ended up here mm -hmm. and you grasp the spirit that's pretty interesting so what's the spirit of berlin you want to ask <laughs> 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 um mm, wow that's an interesting question because like, again i think it's a uh, something about perspective comparing from maybe from where we come from but i i, I could say that you have the feeling of it's like the freest um, city that we have been around for a while mm -hmm. like it has this raw vibe like this uh very festive vibe as well it's pretty open open-minded as well yeah, and on the professional music uh, side also, we have never been in a city where you can actually just go and buy bread and meet the artists you have seen for years on the screen and listen to their music, then you have it right there. And, and this kind of connection and, and, and natural networking, I think it's very, very important. Uh, the combination of the freedom and, and the combination of the amount of talent that is here or passing by, I think, makes this what I would call the spirit. Okay, and um, then uh, you also came to the idea to found your own record label here in Berlin, Kakao Records. Um, what's the concept behind that? So it was not really uh, that planned. Uh, we it actually was born out of uh, out of nowhere. Let's say we started with a friend called Gonzo from Guatemala, mm -hmm. and another friend called Phil, and it was more like a Central American label, uh, focused on the dance floor, like uh, music we could play. If we couldn't play it, then we wouldn't sign it. And from the other side, the, the perspective is also you would see that the artworks started as collages. Mm -hmm. So we, we also feel the label is a little bit like that, like a tutti frutti punch of, of music you would play. Something could be breaks, something could be disco. Afro. So you're very open-minded to the genre. Yeah, what I wanted to say is that I think uh, it also fits uh, pretty well um, our style of, of DJing. Mm -hmm. um, like on, on a set, we, we like to, to play with different, with different, different styles. Yeah. Um, from I don't know, like house, techno, afro, disco. Um, yeah, we, we, we like to go everywhere. So you have a wide range. We have a wide range, yeah. Okay. So we, we like the labels what to release this wide range of, of styles as well. But focus like mainly for, for the dance floor, like something you could play at a party, even a warm up, after party, uh, a big room as well. Yeah. And um, how did you come together with, uh, for the collaboration with uh, Jackie Plummer for your um, last release on your own uh, label? They were, yeah. Um, that's <laughs> yeah, she was she was basically uh, playing the acoustic guitar in the lobby of a hotel, mm -hmm. and um, it's perfect. Yeah, and we <laughs> heard, and it was amazing. So we made everything possible to contact her. In the beginning, it was not so easy. So one day she wrote us on Instagram that she liked her music and she was interested. So it was like, boom, uh, we, we cool. let's do something. It was pretty fast and easy going. It's one of the... Yeah, she's super nice. Actually, we, we are working on something new. Uh, together, for together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you worry is the name of the, of the singer. And um, the last release was a, was a two tracker, two remixes from uh, Be Better, which is a very melodic, lovely thing. And then there's a more um, 
tribal, tribal yeah. vibe with um, Floyd. Um, how is how is that? Uh, how did um, you f decide, or how did you come to the idea to put this very contrasting kinds of remixes together um, on one release? I think it's, it's, it's like we said, we really like this idea of the Tutti Frutti mm -hmm. and, and, and the way, it's the way we play. We would definitely play both styles and we have definitely played Bebeta and, and, and Floyd in the sets many times for sure. So for us, it's, it's really good that if you are more into the melodic, you can find something. And if you are into more tribal stuff, you can find something in our label. Yeah, yeah I mean, for, for Bebeta, we... Like we follow her music and mm -hmm. her productions since a while, um, so yeah, it was uh, like we're very happy to yeah, have yeah. her. Very happy, very lucky. And Floyd, we are like we're close, close friends from him mm -hmm. um, since since quite a while, and also he liked uh, a lot. Uh, yeah, her voice, Jackie Plummer. Mm -hmm. So last time he he came to visit Panama to play. Yeah, he mentioned that he wanted to, to remix to it. remix it to collaborate on this. Um, so yeah, that's that's how Floyd came on board. <laughs> okay, so and now we talked about the last release and what's coming up in future. Something new on Rural Records or um, on Rural? We we have to, to discuss it for next year. What's the plan? But yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we're gonna release something on, on Rural. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, the the funny thing, um, Christian from from Los Cabras, he's he's releasing on our label um, this month, actually, mm -hmm. um, on release uh, collaboration from him and Bondi, and it has a remix from a German artist Benjamin uh, Frulich from Permanent Vacation. It's a really nice remix, and Adrian. His, his former name, um, or another project he has, is Adrian Auer. Mm -hmm. um, and now he's like uh, doing his first release as Adrian with a different sound, doing this remix. Yeah, the release is a bump. Uh, we have played it many times. Every time works amazing. Okay. Well, ma many times. Like, if you, as far as we have been able to play, you know. Until March, until March we play. <laughs> All right. As you can hear, the release is a bump. And now we're looking forward to another bump. That's uh, those two guys playing for Rave Planet Instant Rave next Friday. So please tune in, have fun. And thank you that you're here today, guys. It was really a pleasure. So stay healthy. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Uh, tschüss. Tschüss, hat er gesagt. Dann sage ich auch mal Tschüss. Bis demnächst.